Hi everybody, welcome back. I am excited today to share with you my favorite dish I grew up with, and it is Filipino chicken adobo. And I hope you'll make it at home because it's so easy to make, your family will love it. It tastes better as each day goes on. And so make a big pot of it and you'll love it. So let's get started, all right? So as I said, it has very few ingredients. Um, you can make it with uh, pork butt, pork shoulder, or you can make it with chicken. Today I'm gonna make it with chicken because it's typically made uh, with chicken. It's also an affordable piece of meat. I've got a, uh, a shallow pot here. You can make it in a bigger pot, but I want to show you what we're gonna do is I've got some chicken thighs. I love dark meat, so I prefer chicken thighs. You can make it with white meat, but um, if you want more flavor, definitely use dark meat. So I've got chicken thighs here. I've got six, about six chicken thighs. And what we're gonna do is we're going to sear off uh, the meat. And I've got a hot pan here. Now let me put some oil first down. And I've got it on medium high heat. And what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna render out the chicken fat, because we don't want all that chicken fat. So, you can hear that sizzling. I'm gonna lay this out here. And I've got it skin side down. And we're just gonna render all that chicken fat. And that's gonna take a while. So while I'm doing this, let's talk about some of the ingredients that make chicken adobo and what makes it so flavorful. So chicken adobo is chicken. It is soy sauce and vinegar, and I've got equal parts here of just soy sauce, actually I have light soy sauce, and then distilled white vinegar. And then bay leaves, and I've got, for this amount of chicken, I'm gonna use two bay leaves. A lot of chopped garlic, so I've got some garlic here. And then we use whole peppercorns. So I'm gonna just throw in like maybe a teaspoon of, of this in there. And then a lot of cracked black pepper. And um, then I'm gonna put, to kind of offset the saltiness and the, the sour, I'm gonna actually put some dark brown sugar in there. And so when we get to that point, I'll show you that. But that's basically it. And then we just braise it low and slow and it'll, a sauce will develop and it'll be nice and lip smacking good. And then you'll pour that over rice and that's it. And that's basically chicken adobo. So while I'm cooking this, um, which is gonna take about at least 10 minutes or so, um, we'll come back to it and I'll see you in about 10 minutes. All right, it's been about actually 15 minutes. It took a while for me to render off that fat. So what I did was I basically took out most of the fat, skimmed it out, and left maybe about a tablespoon left just so that it will keep the chicken moist. Uh, the chicken did brown the skins. Some may ask, why can't I just use uh, skinless thighs? You can, I just, for some reason, when I use uh, skinless thighs or any type of skinless chicken part, it just didn't seem the same. I'm not sure why that is, but I just think that the fat on the chicken keeps it moist because once you start cooking it and then braising it you're kind of extracting a lot of the moisture out so i really prefer having the 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 skin on just render it take some of the fat off and then um, i think you should be good but um if you again if you prefer no skin try it out and then you're probably gonna have to play with it but with this recipe it is skin on so i've now reduced the the heat to now about medium low because we are going to do this low and slow remember this is a braise and um, I'm now going to go ahead and let's go ahead and put the garlic in and just kind of spread it out and we don't want it to burn but this is where all that flavor is going to be I mean this is what adobo is known for it's known for the soy sauce the vinegar which is the sour part and this garlic um, I'm going to go ahead and put in the liquid and I said again it's equal parts soy and vinegar and I, I love that 
that sour taste. I mean, if you like Vietnamese food or Thai food, you notice there's always this balance of sweet, salty, and sour. And it's the same thing in Filipino recipes. Uh, we don't have a lot of spicy food, um, but this has a very good balance. So there we go. We've got some soy sauce, some vinegar um, in there. I'm gonna go ahead and drop in a couple of bay leaves. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in some of these peppercorns. And I've got a tri-colored, multi-colored peppercorn, uh, just because I like all the different uh, nuances of each of the peppercorn it has. If you just have black peppercorns, you're, that's fine. I like the white peppercorn, because the white peppercorn actually is spicy. There's some red peppercorn, which has a little spice to it. Um, again, I'm kind of doctoring what my, this is my dad's recipe, and I'm just kind of making it my own. Uh, he typically just did black peppercorns, a bay leaf, uh, and the regular ingredients uh, but I've gone ahead and kind of just adjusted a little bit to make it my own and I have that and then of course I like a lot of black pepper and in addition to the peppercorns so I'm gonna go ahead and crack some in here we'll put that in here and then to make it a little bit uh, sweet because I want the sauce to become a little sticky I am gonna go ahead and put in a good heaping uh, of dark brown sugar in here. And so when the sauce reduces, that uh, sugar is gonna caramelize and that will also offset that vinegar taste. And we can adjust later and make sure that everything is balanced. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of stir in everything in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cover this and braise it check it check in on it in about 20 minutes or so flip the chickens over and then go another 20 minutes and just let it go um, and, and that's it so let's again let's put it on oh, medium low let's cover this up and then I'll see you in 20 minutes Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, so let's take a peek, all right? Let's go take a peek at what has happened. Take off the lid here. Woo! Oh, okay, so this smell brings me right back growing up. I mean, in any Filipino household, you would smell this, and it smells so good. I mean, it's very comforting. It makes me feel safe. Um, I don't know how to describe it. So all you Filipinos out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, um, or if you've made it for your friends, they, they now have that experience. But as you can see here, it's simmering. Um, a lot of, a lot more fat did get released. So at some point we're gonna have to skim this off as well, because um, we wanna get as much of that off. So what we're gonna do right now, it's been 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and as you can see, the sauce has absorbed into the chicken. And I'm just gonna flip that over and kind of squish it around in that sauce and flip that over. And don't be alarmed, I know there's some fat in there, but what I'm gonna do is we're gonna let this braise again for another 20 minutes. So let me tell you what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna braise it for another 20 minutes in the sauce and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna skim off as much as the fat as possible. And then we're just gonna let the sauce just reduce because I want it to be a, a little bit more thicker. So that's what's gonna happen. So the next time I see you, this whole dish is gonna be complete. So just remember, let it braise again another 20 minutes, skim off as much fat as possible, cover it again, reduce it probably for another 20 minutes, and then we'll be all set and then we can eat, all right? So I'll see you. At, at the end and we'll see how all this comes together okay I don't think I can wait any longer I think we're about there so let's take a look at how it turned. it smells great uh, so remember what I told you about 20 minutes I skimmed off all the fat and then all I did now was I just reduced it reduced it till there was barely any more sauce left and made sure that the chicken was cooked through. So let's take a look. Let's take a peek at how it looks now. Oh my God, that smells so good. Okay, I want you to see that. I 
want to get in there. Let's get close. Can you see that? I can, oh, I can smell that. Okay, so if you can see, the liquid has definitely reduced down, which is what we wanted. If you have to uncover it and continue reducing, you can do that as well. I let this go. Growing up, this would be on the stove like all day, just sitting there. And and at the time, it, that just was normal. So, um, you know, I started this earlier and then this has just been simmering away and the, the sauce is reduced beautifully. It's kind of a light glaze. I'm right now just kind of basting it and this is how we would eat it. And we would eat it with rice. So what I did, I went ahead and I dished me up some, some rice. I made some rice. So normally we would uh, eat this with jasmine rice. Uh, if you don't have jasmine rice, regular rice is fine. But I just want to take, I just want a little taste. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and take this little piece here. Oh my God, I wish you guys could smell this because this smells so good. And I'm just gonna put this over my rice. Gotta have some sauce. So I'm gonna have some of my sauce. And again, it's very important, skim off that fat. You know, um, growing up, my dad probably left it, but you know, <laughs> we know better now to, to be a lot more healthier. So I definitely want that, that fat off, but you definitely want the sauce. See my plate here? I want you to see my plate. There's my sauce, there's my chicken. It smells so good. Okay, let's, let's taste it. So, here we go. Here's my board. Let me get myself a fork. And let's make sure we get some meat and the rice together. Okay, that looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna carve me up some chicken here. Let's get some chicken off here. And my friends, I have some friends from college that I taught this recipe to. And to this day, they, they say that they make it once a week. They love it that much. So thank you so much that you love that. And it's it's economical too. It doesn't cost that much. Okay, let's, let's give it a taste. I'm gonna get some chicken, and some of the rice, and some of that sauce. Let's try that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. I make mine a little bit sweet, and that's why I put that dark brown sugar. My dad wouldn't put that much in there, but for some reason, I, I like that flavor. So, uh, I taste the soy. I taste the vinegar. If you want it to be more vinegary, you can. So, um, I taste the peppercorns. Just be careful, don't eat the peppercorns, but I can taste the, the peppercorns have infused in the sauce. Everything's well balanced. It's hearty, it's comforting, it's warm. It makes me feel like I'm at home, it makes me feel I'm with my family. I love this dish, so hopefully you will make this at home. I actually have all the details of this actually in my published cookbook that I have. So this recipe is in there. So if you want all the details, you can see all that on my YouTube channel if you want to know how to get a copy of that. But I just wanted to share this with you. I wanted to share a little bit of me from my kitchen to yours. Um, thanks dad for this recipe. And I've had this and it's comforted me all this time. As we say, uh, Filipinos, we say thank you, salamat, and happy cooking everybody. Stay safe and take care. Thank you.